to death, he Jekyll and Nopquist, two wixes. If I ever find out just what this word can mean. That, of course, is Big Bird. And tomorrow, a documentary comes out about the man plucked from obscurity to play what would become the most famous bird in America. Tonight, Jim Axelrod gives us a peek behind the beak. You probably don't recognize the man behind the wheel, even though you've seen him countless times before. They say, what do you do? I said, well, you've heard of Sesame Street. I'm Big Bird. I'm a very good bird. Oh, it's him all right. You'd know Carol Spinney's voice anywhere. Could you do it again? It makes me oh, feel sure, so good. Oh, sure, it's easy to do it. It doesn't cost me a set. <laughs> so we're just doing voices first. Oh, okay, great. At 81, Spinney has logged some 4,000 episodes as Big Bird since the start of Sesame Street in 1969, operating what's essentially one of the world's largest hand puppets. Since Big Bird stands 8 feet 2 inches tall, Spinney's head only goes to the bottom of Big Bird's neck. He operates the mouth with his right arm. But Carol Spinney didn't create just one iconic character. He created two. Why in such a bad mood all the time? I don't get it. Uh, it works for me. You know this guy. How grouchy does he get? <laughs> Not very grouchy. Maybe in traffic. But ask his wife, Deb. Spinney is no Oscar. She's known that from their first date in 1973. When he first asked me out, I went home. I, I really did do cartwheels. <laughs> what was making you so euphoric? I mean, I'm dating Big Bird for Pete's sake. <laughs> Carol Spinney is much more like the lovable, slightly goofy, fine-feathered friend to generations of children, like the five-year-old boy sick with cancer whose parents asked Big Bird to give their boy a call. So I called, uh, and they put a, got a phone to his bed, and I said, Hello, Joey. This is me, Big Bird. And... Uh, I heard you've had a hard time, and I just thought I'd say hello. And he hung up and he said, Big Bird, call me. He's my friend. And he smiled and uh, passed right then. So this little boy who hadn't smiled in months. He died with a smile on his face. 46 years in, Spinney would like to make it at least an even 50. Who better to make kids feel safe, loved, and grounded than a bird? who never flies. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Woodstock, Connecticut. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News, all around the world, good night.